I got a little bit of the purple on this camera. What is going on guys, it's Toby here and welcome back to a new video. If you happen to be new here, hit that subscribe button. But today we're going to be painting my Mustang's dash. I think, what is this? I don't know, dark green, pine green they call it, with some sort of metallic flake. You ready? Yes sir. Taking a look at this paint can right here, it is from Dupli Color and they Doritoed me. Look at this, there's like nothing in here. It's like mostly air, so I don't know if this is gonna be enough to get the job done. I hope it is. The dash is fairly big on the Mustang. Wow. <laughs> oh, as soon as you turn the camera on, you stop talking bro. Yeah, exactly, bro. What's up, bro? Oh, there she goes again. She's going all night. <laughs> she tried to sneak in again. Yo? <laughs> Xander said I'm about to mess up this car even more. Well, not mess up, but I can't say it or else I'm gonna get uh, in trouble or I'm gonna have to bleep it out. Hey, yo, again, you left your cap in here. Oh, you know, you left your like other hat in the, in the Camaro. We got to go get it. But this is uh, the dash that we're going to do. So we're going to rip this off real quick. I don't know how to do this, but you said you just rip it off, right? Uh -huh. So I am going to be keeping this portion right here carbon just like that. And then the other side has some carbon on it, too. So I'm not going to take it off because that would be a pain in the butt. And I guess we'll just have carbon on the sides and then the main piece will be green. So I think it'll look super sick and the process is going to be fun. We have the trim tool right now. Hopefully this will make it easier. Should I pry while you... Oh yeah, it's coming off. Oh, but I feel the clips. You gotta be careful with that. From the back, from the back, from the back. Get it from the back, Shawty. <laughs> okay, so one piece is out so far. You have to start at the corner right here actually to pry. And does this just pop out if we pull it? It's just clips. Bruh. It's really, really in there though. <laughs> That's what she said. Hey, yo. Is it coming? Oh, yeah. I think the fans and the gauges come out. Wait. Something on the bottom. Yeah. You're going to you're gonna cut my fingers off if you, pull, <laughs> if you pull that hard that way. Bro, this was a pain in the butt. Not going to lie. And... Might have to glue it back on because the clips sounded like they popped. But you were telling me to get a boost gauge, right? Uh -huh. From the EcoBoost? Yeah, that would be sick. So that's pretty much all out. Um, I think we need to remove the gauges and the fans. Or no, just unplug that. Yeah. Did we take that stuff out though? Yeah, we'll take it out when we paint it. But Okay. So we're good for now. This is what it looks like without that. That's weird looking. I think it's a good mod. Yeah, it is. I feel like we should leave it like that. Yeah, I should just leave it like that and have the AC. Uh, this is the maximum airflow mod. <laughs> that looks so busted. All right. All right, let's see. Is it blasting or no? <laughs> Bro, that's a lot more air. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of cool. Like the carbon vents. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's take this one. We'll leave this in the car and then screwed in sorry i have to get a torch bit okay yeah no worries all right we'll take that up we need to do the bumper next so i was thinking mach 1 bumper with the halos and then carbon resin on top of it but i probably won't do that for a couple months i'm trying to get a cam and the camaro and we called up gpi and it was like crazy expensive how it's much like six thousand dollars fully set up with a install kit and a tune i think um, we need to hit up for dawn no, we're not the guy, bro. <laughs> for real and for reference to get the performance pack gauges out, it is a T15 Torx bit. Yeah, so I just put it on the screwdriver, obviously. Bob the builder here, and I pulled it out. Now this is all out. I need to do the boost gauge though. Like, EcoBoost, put this right here so you can see how many pounds of boost it's making. I always thought this was chrome, but it's just straight up plastic. It is plastic. <laughs> That's so cheap, bro. <laughs> but this is ready for painting now. So, all naked. Let's go ahead and just get it sanded down with some sandpaper and then we'll spray primer and get the green going. The time I traumatized Leo by uh, by carrying my valence around the GT500 one. But this is what we're gonna use for mask. I remember that. Yeah, I carried it, you were here. Yeah. yeah, and he got traumatized. So let's lay that down. Obviously we're gonna have to use some weight because it's super windy and make sure that we don't overspray everywhere. Like I was explaining before, just sanding it down. This scuffs it up and makes sure that the primer really sits on there nice. So don't get scared if you have a bunch of scuff marks. I mean, that's literally what you're doing is sanding it down. And I'm just gonna go until I feel like it's good. Probably pretty close to being done, honestly. Like. <laughs> 
What was that? I can't, I can't love on no <laughs> <laughs> So they also included some sort of prep pad right here and it's wiping away all this dust, just making sure that the surface has a perfect, like, I don't know how to explain it, like something to stick on. If you have dirt on there, obviously the paint isn't gonna come out perfectly. So all that dust came off and it looks like I never even sanded it, honestly. All right, so now we've prepped the dash. We're going to let it sit for a little bit, and then we'll uh, come back. In the meantime, Toby's going to give us a glute spread. Yo! Fun fact of the day, guys. Toby said if he hits 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year, he'll shave himself bald. Let's hit that subscriber goal. What? I'm not doing that, bro. I'm <laughs> hey, bro, did, did 100K so? No. Guys, Toby is masked up from the <laughs> and he is going to go ahead and lay some primer. All around. So I'm going to start with the edges over here, probably. Get a nice little 50-50 overlap. So you want to make sure oh. that you, uh, <laughs> you want to make sure that you don't spray too much. You want to do light coat after light coat, probably three to four coats of primer until the, uh, the whole surface is covered. Um, and as you can see, Toby just don't give a f He's laying down like a dime. He's also over spraying quite literally everywhere. It's okay. <laughs> as long as it doesn't get on the windows. Well, well, since nobody can hear what you're saying, you love them BBWs, huh, Toby? No. <laughs> what I meant to say is that the BBWs need love, but she's not from me, okay? We got my boy Ralph for that. Yeah, Ralph's going to give them BBWs some love, I promise. <laughs> this moment, Toby realized he f***ed up. No, the problem here is that this stupid styrofoam is coming up, and I can't really, like, spray it correctly, so we need to put some more weight on it. I don't know what, though. There we go. All right, more primer. I don't know if you guys can understand me. Xander said absolutely not, but more primer. All right, guys, we're going to be applying more primer to the dash now. We're going to see how this works. Oh. I'm just going to do the, the hard places first with a light coat, and then I'll go over and make sure it's actually even, because right now it's so uneven. All right, guys, this is primer <laughs> coat number 12. Um, Someone take this away from me, bro. <laughs> so I think the fumes are finally getting to Toby's head. After nah. 12 coats of primer, we're finally about to start applying paint. Yeah, it should be good now. I think, you know. Look at your face. <laughs> well, it's like super red from the mask. No, you have like a mask fly. <laughs> I'm just going to wait for this base coat to dry. We've been messing around too much. If you guys see this video, please don't cancel me because I had some controversial takes right there, but... <laughs> Uh, yeah, seems like everybody go ahead and cancel Toby in the comment section. No. <laughs> Wouldn't change much. You guys already do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah, you can't cancel someone that's already canceled, so. Yeah, you may be canceled. <laughs> Since it's so windy out here, I'm taking a toothpick because there were like little dirt particles. Let me not get the strap in here. But there were like little dirt particles that flew into the paint. So if you take a toothpick and you go very gently, you can actually get it out without destroying the paint. So... Just trying to knock it off. Some pieces won't come off, but others will. So here's the thing, and I don't know if you guys can understand me because I have a mask on, but these edges right here need to be painted really well. And if you go 50-50 overlap on them, you're gonna have some overspray up on top. Now what I'm gonna do is just hit the edges first and then we'll go over that so it's all even. If you do it the other way around, it's gonna be very, very uneven. I think it's going to look sick with the grabber line. It's actually going to look really good. That looks good. That's what about one coat looks like of that green. It's actually a really, really nice green. I think it's actually a OEM Toyota color. Not sure what it's from, but it looks really good. And it'll give a really nice contrast with the grabber line. Probably going to hit it with another coat, maybe a third coat because some of it is uneven and I need to clean up the edges and that type of stuff. They're not very thick, but I'm just going to keep going. You guys know the deal. It's just repetitive 50-50 overlap. I suppose you can call this the final step, but we're going to hit it with some clear now. This is the same engine enamel I used for the engine cover. It's high heat resistant. You don't need high heat resistance, but my Rust-Oleum clear coat was really bad, so we're not going to be using that. Probably going to do two coats, and it should be ready. Give it about five hours, and we'll put the gauges back in, put the fans back in, and we'll pop it in the car. 
We're on our third coat of clear coat. It is starting to look way more green now than it was before. It kind of looked black a little bit ago, but definitely starting to look better. I think the finished product's gonna look absolutely crazy. Crazy? You just <laughs> gotta let it dry out. I think what, like 10, 15 minutes? I think I'm done with spraying clear. That's like number three. So I don't wanna overdo it and waste paint. Mr. Toby, can you tell us about your course? My course? How you bought this uh, incredible Oceanside View apartment in Miami, Florida. So here in my apartment. Uh, what a, you, you made it all from drop shipping, right? Yes, drop shipping. That's and correct. you paid cash for this apartment? Course. And how many Lamborghinis do you currently own? About five or six. Uh, and how many do you have on order? Uh, about two or three. We also got an F40 coming as well uh, from out there in Orlando. Yeah, is that the, the South Central Ferrari? You bought that one out there? Yes, sir. Oh, and then you bought both of those La Ferraris. One for you and your uh, your cousin out west. No, for my girl. For your girl? Yeah. Oh, wow, that's so nice of you. Hey, by the way, I did want to thank you for, uh, as soon as I walked in, you handed me a hundred grand and four Rolexes. Yes, sir. Yeah, well, thank you so much for your time. Uh, Toby's course will be linked down in the description, and uh, you guys will be able to have a, a wonderful time on this uh, wonderful day. Thank you so much for your time, sir. So I'm gonna let this clear completely dry. It's gonna take about an hour or so until it's set, then we'll pop all the gauges back in, put the fans back in, but we're gonna hit the gym yes, until sir. it dries. So I don't think I'm gonna take the camera to the gym. We'll leave that for another vlog. But we'll catch you guys. Ugh. Clearly, Kevin needs to hit the gym more. Can't even. For open real. Door. <laughs> yeah. But we'll catch you guys once we get back and it's all dried and we throw it back in the car. All right, guys. We went to the gym. <laughs> we took a shower. We got dinner. And uh, it looks like the color on this changed or it's like the lighting. I don't know. It looks great. That That's weird, green. bro. That's really weird. <laughs> I don't know if the clear coat changed the color. That's odd. So I don't even know how to explain this, but it changed <laughs> colors from the time I put the clear on and the last green coat. So it went from green to black or gray just with a clear coat. That's really, really odd. I'm just going to slap it on the car anyways. I don't really care. So <laughs> if anything, I'll just wrap it. Does everybody take this in? Toby is actually doing his own work. Yep. Screwing right. in the gauges. Got to pick up that boost gauge though. That's definitely like the next mod I'm going to do. The dash is digital. <laughs> That's what little baby says. <laughs> Unless you're f***ing Cody. Yo! <laughs> and pop this one back in. Come on. Go in. So I got the whole car back together, popped in all the pieces, and it doesn't really look green right now, but maybe in direct sunlight it'll change. Actually, no, Xander, I can see it. I can see the green. You just have to look for it. But you can also see the flake in there, too. But, I mean, this color is kind of weird. Wait, I need to get the right lighting. It's more and more green as more and more I look at it. It's kind yeah. Of I'm trying to show the flake, but the lighting is horrible. I don't know. I'll probably catch you guys tomorrow in the sunlight where you can actually see more with natural light. And then I'll probably highlight it more. But it doesn't look bad. It's just not really what I expected. And this fan is falling out. <laughs> just like that, it's the next day. And I took the car out to get it into some direct sunlight. And look at this, guys. All right. So I don't know where the correlation or the similarity is supposed to be here because obviously these are two completely different colors. Xander thinks it might have to do with the high heat resistant primer. So what I'm going to do is rip the dash off later and try and put another coat of this green right here. If it doesn't change, I'm going with another emerald option. So we'll wait on that. But I think I'm going to have to wet sand this down. It's going to be a pain in the butt to rip it off again. But I mean, I don't want this color here. It doesn't look bad per se. It's just not something I was aiming for. It's like a faded green, I don't even know how to describe it, like green gray. And it's like mixed together with some metallic flake. So I'm probably gonna rip it off and we'll catch you guys once I rip it off once again and give it another spray of the green. If you guys didn't know, Toby is in love with this girl that he met less than three days ago. <laughs> Bro, what? I don't even know what you're talking about. Really? Yeah. Open your snap. <laughs> nope. Well, why not? <laughs> She's gonna be watching this and be like, Who's gonna be watching this? I'm not telling you. Beep. It's getting censored. That's getting censored. On the real though, listen, he's not gonna see this. He is down bad, down horrendous, down in the trenches. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but I mean, I hope it goes good for my boy. Uh, girl is pretty bad. Uh, but you know, as they say, don't put all your eggs in one basket. But uh, you know, unlike me, I'm not allergic to it. I am allergic to eggs, so I can't do that. Toby can, on the other hand. But you know, hopefully uh, he gets out of the trenches here soon. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> I 
Not really gonna show much of this process. I just wet sanded it down with the 800 grit. You just put some water on there, sand it down, and now I'm gonna respray it. So hopefully it comes out better. If not, we have that other color, but I guess we'll see. I just got done spraying for the second time, went through the whole mess of primer and all that, all that jazz, but this actually turned out really cool. So in different lighting, it'll be green. And then if you go to the other side, it'll be purple. So I like this a lot better than before. I can't wait till it dries out, then we can slap it back on the car. But this was honestly a major upgrade. Now, one problem I had was that my hair kept flying into the paint. So if you guys see some like stray hairs like right there, that's because, I mean, I have a lot of hair and obviously it flew up. But I'll show you all what we used from AutoZone. So it's called Clear Effects and it's multicolor metallic effect. This is what I used. And then I also used this on top of the other green that I used before. So it's called Shift color shifting paint from Dupli Color. Wait for that dash to dry and then we put it back in one more time. For the one time, we're deleting the stripes. So we have them off right now. This is the end of the era here of the stripes. Looks really weird. I'm not used to seeing the car like this. I don't think I've ever seen one like this before. Like in real life, because I saw a Grabber Lime GT350, it had the stripes. I saw a little Oh my God. So what do you think, carbon wrap on the roof? I think just gloss black. Gloss black? Yeah, it might look better. Unless the carbon was going to match perfect. You Dude, said, uh, it looks kind of naked. You know what you should do? 100k subs on YouTube by the end of the year, we'll put the carbon roof on the car. <laughs> the real carbon roof. I don't even see that much of a difference in the paint fade. It's not that obvious until you get close. Final result. <laughs> no stripe gang. Kind of looks better. Not even going to lie. Move around here. trying to run me over right now. <laughs> Alright, chill, 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 chill. Oh my god. spot because I grabbed it with my thumb and it got it very unfortunate we had such a clean look like everything else came out perfect this is what it crazy. is crazy yeah we got to show it in direct sunlight tomorrow oh huh? you can see it on the camera you can yeah how it changes color yeah wait look. go up like different angle okay so that's green how about from the bottom oh look, you see it's purple it's purple <laughs> that is so sick oh my god Sneak peek of us taking off the stripe. Let's know what you guys think down in the comment section. I personally think it looks 10 times better. Toby's still kind of on the fence about it. But I mean, yeah, Toby said it'll grow on him. Not the only thing that'll start growing here soon. Bro. Um, but uh, now the... All right, everything's popped in. Now I just gotta put the fans in. I really wish I didn't mess up that spot because that would've been such a clean look. Well, yeah, we'll end up fixing it at some point probably before we leave for Mustang week. Nah. Speaking of Mustang Week, if you guys did not already know, there is going to be a crazy car meet at Mustang Week if you live near Myrtle Beach. What, on oh, the 28th, right? On, yeah, the 28th, on the 28th, all the f***ing bozos are going to be there. And what do you, what do you say? Wine mod next. <laughs> just had a really good idea. Toby, did you put on, the, put on the light? As you can see, Toby f***ed that up. So I think we're just going to put a seat sticker right there. If you know, you know. Uh, this is probably going to get blurped out, but... Uh, certain angle where it turns purple. Brother, that's hard. But yeah, guys, as I said, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, Toby said glute spread at 100K. Well, I got a little bit of the purple on this camera. Oh, yeah, I got a good angle of the purple. So I have to go over there? Toby, I've just been spending these elevator talks talking about shorties. <laughs> about women. Very developed talks about women. Yes. It's our pastime now. <laughs> yeah, if you guys want to subscribe to our course, we'll give you everything we've got. Rare occurrence of Toby doing cardio. <laughs> what? Yeah, bro, it kills the gains, so I can't do much cardio. It's in fact the next day, and just like I promised, I wanted to show you guys the final results. So if we go to the left, you can see the purple right here, which is really cool. We go to the right, you can see the green. Now, you can see my mess up spot right there. I might just refinish it. I'm not entirely sure yet but it looks awesome. Xander, what do you think? 
refinish. Fuego. It's fuego, but it needs a refinish. So I might. Yeah, I'm gonna repaint it, wet sand it back down. But that's pretty much gonna do it for this vlog. I mean, you see the final result one more time. It's getting real corny out here, as someone would say. Yeah. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Peace out.